it has a little bit more now for sure you know just things like when we go out and about now you know we're getting the public coming up to us and saying you know well done as opposed to keep going um, so their language as to the way that they're portraying things is very different as well that makes you sit back and reflect you know when you're back in your car or you're walking in the opposite direction to them and think crikey you know yeah we we have come a long way and Harry would be so so proud but I don't think it's really sunk in the enormity of what we've achieved you know it's it's very easy to to just keep busy and keep focused on the next task ahead I think it's going to be a while before we we really sink in um, the enormity of what's happened so far just let the judge do what she's best to do you know we don't pretend to know too much about the criminal justice system we're very much aware that it is fair um, if anything, you know, very lenient in comparison to some of the countries. So we're just going in with our eyes wide open, um, see what she has to say and take it from there. But what will be, will be. I've, I stroke we as Team Harry and our family have never really focused on the sentencing side of things. You know, no amount of time that Anne Sekoulis would be given or could be given is ever going to, to be enough when, when you've lost a child, you know. So I certainly don't want to be the one that sat there counting the days down on the calendar as to when her whatever sentence she gets, um, as lenient as it may be, I'm not going to be sat there counting the days down. You know, I owe it to, to Harry, I owe it to Niall, I owe it to their other siblings and my husband, my family, to take that point forward and start to rebuild our lives.